Rudy Gobert. He's one of the greatest defensive talents in the league. But we all know his offensive game is pretty limited, to put it nicely. But somehow, year after year, he consistently posts one of the highest offensive ratings in the league. You could chalk this up as he's just a beneficiary of playing in great offensive lineups and schemes that lean toward his skill set. But the truth is, he makes these lineups go from good to great. It's in the numbers. He does all these major and minor things that play a big part in creating one of the most dangerous lineups in the league. So in this video, we will break down how a player restricted to the paint and averages 12 points for his career helps command one of the deadliest lineups in the league. Rudy may never be the most skilled player on the court, but he has one of the highest IQs. We regularly seen it on the defensive end with his quick reads, and if you didn't, watch this video. But he applies the same principle on the offensive end to break down opponent's defense. It all starts with him analyzing the situation and using his big frame to perfection. In this clip, you see him studying and analyzing Joe Ingles off-ball movement and setting a solid screen as soon as Ingles curls over top, creating an immense amount of space for him. Gobert regularly does this when he's off ball. He quickly reads the play and sets these solid flare screens, pin downs, back screens to get his teammates these wide open looks. Even if you see these screens coming, it is so difficult to navigate yourself around Gobert. He's 7 feet, muscular, and deceptively quick. So if you think you have the space to run around him, he will close that gap really quick and nail you with the screen. His ability to do this so tactically and with such precision is why he regularly leads the league in screen assist points. When he is giving on-ball screens and playing the two-man game, it's a bigger nightmare, causing situations of miscommunication, especially when he's giving screens to excellent ball handlers like Conley and Mitchell. They're able to use his size, his subtle moves, and the fact opponents typically cover him using drop coverage to their advantage to create so much space and get an open shot. Just look at this clip here. They see the drop coverage, use the screen to create space from his defender, and gets a wide open 3. Defenders are regularly forced to go under the screen fighting Gobert, and giving Utah's guards a clean look at 3. Going over is not much better either, because as soon as you're going over, Rudy barrels to the rim, and there's not really much you can do to counter that. The Jazz regularly do this. Look at this clip here. Rudy, as soon as he's done with the screen, charges at the rim, receives the pass, and slams it home. And it doesn't really matter the type of pass you're giving him when he's rolling to the rim. You can give him a bounce pass, a pocket pass, a lob, even an off-target pass. He's going to catch it and dunk it. This uncanny ability gives his teammates so much flexibility when they're playing the pick and roll with him. Defenses are forced to collapse on Gobert, giving his teammates so much space and options to make the best decision possible. Just look at the gravity Gobert has in this clip. When he rolls to the rim, he pulls in the weak side defender and gets his shooter an easy look from 3. I cannot overstate this enough. Getting a screen from Gobert gives you so many options. Gobert is also a monster playing through contact. When he's rolling to the rim, he's just too big and too strong. Look at this clip right here. He just powers through for the slam. Or this one, where he absorbs the contact and gets the and one. Or even this one, where he's just too tall for the defender to make a difference. His size also makes it extremely hard for his teammates to miss him when he's open. You know he'll be at the center of the court with his arms wide open. It's basically impossible to miss him and not dump the ball to him. And surprisingly, he finds himself in these positions more often than not because he reads the game so well, regularly punishing bad switches and miscommunication. We all know Gobert isn't the best post player, but he's not as bad as people make. Look at how polished his footwork looks in this clip. A very underrated aspect of his game is, is his willingness to move the ball. When he gets in the paint, he doesn't just try to force a shot up. He reads how the defense reacts and makes the correct pass to get the ball to his wide open shooters. Just look at this clip here. Finds the open man, swing, and that's an easy 3. This is a pivotal skill set he possesses and is what really helps the offenses he's implemented in flourish. When his shooters do miss though, Gobert is ready to clean up the glass. He's always giving you second chance opportunities with his hustle boards. 
Gobert may not have the traditional skill set that makes offenses great, but his impact on the offensive end is undeniable. He creates so much space for his teammates with screens and his gravitational pull when he rolls, and is a good finisher inside. He also has a high IQ that is always manipulating situations and creating defensive mishaps. All these reasons why a team like Utah prosper on the offensive end despite him not being able to shoot a jumper. This is Earn Your Ranks, where we only talk about ball. Signing off.